A few moments later. Why do we recycle? It may save up energy plus help tackle climate change. It reduces the need for the extraction, refining and processing of raw materials and many other good reasons. Hey, is recycling always good for the environment? Hmm, we shall see. Recycling can be carried out on diverse types of materials like plastics, glass, metals and metallic alloys. What about ceramics? They are hard and have high melting points. Thus, the usual recycling strategies cannot be applied to them. But there is nothing science cannot solve. Let us see how, through oxygen transport membranes, we first receive end-of-life membranes. We then crush and dissolve it into water using nitric acid as the magical solution. We then use a microwave-powered autoclave to ensure that all the powder has dissolved into the solution. We convert the solution to a gel, pre-calcine it, and finally calcine it, hoping that we have the required material. Extra diffraction is then performed to see if it is the required material. Yeah, it is. After this, we press it in the shape of a membrane and heat treat it to be used again. Hey, I saw your concern about green recycling and you were right. This is why I moved from the conventional furnace here to a microwave furnace which will help me reduce the electricity consumption. The processing steps are similar as before. Here is the solution, the gel, the precalcined powder and finally the required powder. This allowed true green recycling. Recycling is very important, but... True recycling should always be supported by scientific data. 